Christina with Tina Girl Life. We're here at the one and only Costco Wholesale in Sweden. Let's check it out. We are just on the outskirts of Stockholm and as we're driving by in a rainstorm, we came across Costco and we were super excited and wanted to check it out. We love having a look at Costco's in different countries just to see what kinds of different things they offer. So Sweden only has one Costco and this is it. It opened in 2021. So the store is set up pretty much exactly the same as every Costco I've ever been in. I'll go through most of the aisles, but I'll focus on things that are different than what we have at our local Costco. As we move through the aisles, you will see prices. I'll give you a quick idea of how to calculate the Swedish crown versus the US dollar. So 10 US dollars is about 100 crowns. So that six and a half carat diamond is 5 million crowns or nearly 500,000 US dollars. I absolutely love grocery shopping and just shopping in general when we visit other places in the world. It's so fun to see what's available and what's not available, how much they pay for stuff versus what we pay at home. Now, if you like shopping videos like this, be sure to check out my other channel, Tina Girl Travels. I have tons of global shopping videos for you to enjoy. Oh, check out this Smeg coffee machine. Smeg is actually an Italian company known for its retro styles. This one's very modern looking. This rings in at about 650 US dollars or 875 Canadian and is actually bang on what we buy it for in Canada. It's so interesting to see all the brands I recognize like KitchenAid, Bodum, Joseph Joseph from the UK, and then so many brands I've never heard of. All right, throw out your Stanley. Here's the new trend in water bottles. That thing is huge. It looks like a giant baby bottle. So you get two for about $27. Let's head into the lighting and plumbing section. I'm really curious what you think so far. Do you think that this is pretty common what you would see in North America or is it totally different? I kind of feel like it's pretty similar with the LED lighting. Now when I look at the toilets here in a second, you'll notice wall hung toilets that you can buy, which is very common in Europe to have a wall hung in your house, not so much in North America. And look how slim the back of that toilet is. So quiet in here. I'm not used to seeing a store like this where nobody's walking around. It's just unreal. If you're from Stockholm and you've been here or you have a membership, I'm so curious what the Swedes actually think of this store. Let me know in the comments section below. Let's check out the clothes. I'm seeing some of the same brands like Hillary Radley, but there are many brands that I don't recognize. Have a look at these prints. I haven't seen these in our Costco, that's for sure. These linen long sleeve shirts are actually being cleared out for about five US dollars. So that's not a bad deal. And trench coats are definitely in this season. Over to the comfy clothes, these DKNY joggers, they seem kind of expensive at about 32 US dollars. Tell me what you think about that. Hmm, these are interesting. These are a leather look legging. I haven't seen those in our Costco, that's for sure. Wow, look at these prints. These are DKNY as well. Quite wild prints, that's for sure. Europeans love their stripes. Blue and white. I like this one actually. One thing I'm noticing is if the price ends in a seven like there, they're clearing out 
the product. Just like in North America, how ours will end in 97 cents, and then you always know that they're clearing that out. Oh, here's the shirt that goes with those pads. So that's quite an outfit. Tell me what you think about that. Would you wear that? Have a look at these colors that are in here. So blue, I can totally wear this color blue. It's such a pretty color. But this color here, I cannot wear. I can't even stand next to it. I don't even know what it is. It's like a greenish yellow. And this color, unfortunately, I can't wear that either. Interesting to see the colors though. More Hillary Radley crazy patterns. Now, I'm not sure, are these really, really bold patterns in, in North America or not? I actually really like the DKNY jeans they have here. Pretty good prices too. I love the fringed bottom on this. This is so cute. Let's have a look at a few more items of clothing and then we'll move on to food. I know we carry DKNY in Canadian Costco's, but I feel like we don't have quite as many SKUs as they do here in Sweden. Check out these t-shirts. They are pretty fun. The kids' books are a good mix of Swedish and English. Kids actually start to learn English in school at the age of seven, and pretty much every young person we ran into spoke fluent English. One thing you have to have when you come to Sweden is a cinnamon bun or a canelbulle. They are so, so good. It's always so interesting to see the baked goods in different countries. So Costco has bagels in Sweden too, and it's mix and match. This is a big um, container full of French madeleines and tuxedo cake, just like back home. Beautiful cakes. They have some really cute designs on these ones. And I love the fact that they have plain cakes so you can just do your own decorations on them. These look delicious, really good. And I like that they have different sizes of the cakes. About $24 for this pack of stewing beef. What do you think? Is that a good deal? Oh wow, look at those tomahawk steaks. Those are huge. Shrimp is actually a big deal in Sweden. Shrimp sandwiches, these are kind of really big. They're not really for shrimp sandwiches, but um, these other ones are. This is what you would buy for shrimp sandwiches. Amazing. Have a look at that lobster. Okay, this is definitely like a shrimp spread that you'd put on open-faced sandwiches. All right, there it is. Costco's rotisserie chicken. That's the same price we would pay. Wow, a lot of options for ready-made foods. Nice sandwiches and salads. Have a look at that pasta down there. Looks good. Okay, interesting fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. Lobster. Okay, this is interesting. This is five kilograms of cured ham from Spain. And more shrimp. I told you, shrimp was a big deal in Sweden. It's a big deal. Oh wow, have a look at this octopus. Check out these different hams. This is so interesting. The one in the tube and then have a look at this. This comes attached to a board. That's really cool. And look at these, wouldn't these be cute on a charcuterie? And more ham and more cute little sausages. Okay, check out these condiments. These look really good. Now, hot dogs and sausages are a really big deal in Sweden. So these are, these are different sauces that you'd put on even hamburgers. Looks really good. 
Check out the sushi. Now, 229 kruna, that's actually almost $30 Canadian, so that's quite expensive. That says fruit and green things. There's some potatoes. Check out these chanterelle mushrooms. Oh my goodness, are they ever beautiful. They grow all over Finland and Sweden and you can actually forage for them in the forests. They're so beautiful. A little vanilla flavored spray cream, anyone? So filmjölk is actually a mesophilic yogurt, which means that it ferments at room temperature. It's really good. I grew up eating it. It's less sour than yogurt. This British cheese is actually fantastic. We had it in our store once and we haven't been able to find it since. It's so good. I don't know what it is about European candy, but it is so incredibly good. Be sure to buy some when you go to Europe. Oh yeah, Swedish meatballs. They are the best. Honey, can you bring home some sausages and maybe some belly slices? I love the name of that. Okay, this is actually a Swedish thing. It's called snus. It's essentially flavored nicotine. You put it directly in your mouth, either loose or in a small pouch. This stuff is not cheap and they sell it right by the tills here at Costco. And it's actually a really disgusting habit. Does Costco in Sweden sell the famous hot dog? Yes, it does. For 20 Swedish crowns or two US dollars, you get a hot dog and a Pepsi. They also have pizza, gelato, the baked chicken wrap, Caesar salad, and the mango smoothie. How does it actually compare to my local Costco here in Canada? Well, our hot dog is actually $1.13 cheaper in Canada, and we have two choices, either a Polish dog with spices or an all beef hot dog. Thanks for watching my tour of Costco Stockholm. Please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out my other channel, Tina Girl Travels, for more global shopping and other fun travel related videos. I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Life.